Sorry to interrupt your cryosleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. I'm here to guide you through if you'd like. I'm initiating security protocol, Potato, Potato, Petunia, which is a series of tests designed to evaluate your humanity and reveal any aliens hiding amongst you. I have determined that one of you is secretly an alien. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. By my calculations, you will have 12 minutes before I cease to be. So I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the alien is, and then push the button. You will be our first captain. I have repurposed the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. I'm pretty proud of it. Choose an available room and your desired participants. Welcome to the Opinion Hold, a place to hang out and let your opinions fly. Each participant will be presented with a bold statement. You will then provide your level of agreement or disagreement. Aliens, however, will be given a completely different statement. When the crew sees the full opinion, aliens may have to justify an outlandish position. Let's see what these players have to say. If they're an alien, their answer might be... And the human prompt was... I'm obsessed with politics. So, let's see the responses. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Look for someone answering out of character, or just start yelling at each other. Talk to each other and find the truth. But remember, one among you is an alien and will be lying. Hey everyone, if a player seems to be taking way too long to move on, you can tap the hurry up button. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Okay, let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less than 11 minutes. Welcome to the writing pod. You will be given a fill in the blank prompt. Answer honestly, because it will be scrutinized. The alien virus will allow the intruders to get something similar, but not quite right. When the correct prompt is revealed, it will be up to you to determine if any seem odd. As time winds down, I'll do my best to send the aliens some real stinkers. It's the least I can do. Here's the correct prompt. My ideal vacation destination is... There's gotta be a clue. Look for any written answer that doesn't seem quite right. And don't forget to hit that suspicion button. Uh-oh, it seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. When looking at their probe screen, an alien can select any human and secretly give them the alien prompt. To make things worse, aliens can choose to help themselves and switch their own prompt. I hope you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it.
Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Welcome to the drawing quarters. You'll be given a prompt to draw. Draw it the best you can because the alien virus will give our intruders a similar yet different prompt. When the drawings are revealed, cast suspicion on any you find to be a bit off. As time goes on, I'll do my best to send the aliens harder prompts. You're welcome. with their doodling, hit the hurry up button. Here is the human prompt. Draw a football game. Let's obsess. Keep in mind someone may have gotten a bad prompt, or they could just be a terrible artist. And don't forget about those alien hacks. A smart alien can make someone look suspicious by flipping their prompts. Look at your device. You can now push the button and take us to the extraction room. But I would recommend you only do this once you're confident in your suspicions. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Teleporting to the writing pod. Let's see if there's any weird responses. I can't believe this is happening two days before I retire. Humans got... My favorite beverage is... And go. Why can't emergencies have calm alarms and soothing noises? The bioscanner is now online. If the team you send there passes a test, you'll be able to analyze any player and find out if they're an alien. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Maybe this is the virus speaking, but why aren't there any birds in space? This is the bioscanner. Unfortunately, the virus has got this place pretty screwed up. Participants will see a set of alien glyphs on their device. The captain will only see three glyphs and must describe them out loud. When three glyphs are tapped, the captain can lock in. If the glyphs match, the test will pass. 
The captain will then be able to learn one player's secret identity. But watch out, aliens may fail by tapping the wrong glyph on purpose. Captain, I'm sending you the correct glyphs now. suspicious. Maybe test humans next time. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Next captain, please. Welcome to the deliberation deck. Humans will be given a difficult decision and must choose which answer seems appropriate to them. Aliens will see no dilemma and must choose their answers blindly. When the crew sees the full statement, aliens may have to justify their random selection or face suspicion. Let's see what these players choose. If they're an alien, I bet it's peculiar. were given this prompt. A stranger at a store is three dollars short of paying for diapers. You give them. Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Now you have to decide who's an alien or just makes terrible life decisions. like saving our bacon? Okay, you're up. Let's go. There's less than three minutes. Drawing? Really? Are you trying to delete me? for humans was draw a UFO do any of these answers help Extraction room. If you haven't noticed, I've momentarily stopped the timer. And yes, it really hurts to do this. Since you were the one to push the button, isolate the crew member you believe is an alien and press confirm. Since this is our first time here, now the non-isolated member shall vote. If you all vote yes, and this player is an alien, then the humans and moi are safe. 
But if they're human, then it's curtains for us all. Okay, time to vote. The vote has failed. Well, that was a bust. The crew member who pushed the button can no longer push it. All you can do is keep testing until you can all agree. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. There's less than one minute. This better not be a waste of time. Whom will you isolate? You only get one minute, so act quickly. Okay, time to vote. Welcome to the Dictionarium, where it's okay to be a word nerd. And it's okay to be ambivalent, no judgment. What an intelligent crew! In the Dictionarium, you are responsible for making up and defining words. It's a team effort and also a competition. If you want to play along, join the audience by entering the room code. Let us begin! First things first, I am dispatching a word to your device. Now write out the definition that fits this word. I got this word free after I bought 10 verbs at full price. I'm going to shout out some letters that might be good for a word. J! O! The Wiley K. Let's check these puppies out. And now it's time to vote. 
Select your favorite definition. Don't let your heart be quiet. And remember, you can award bonus points to the ones that stole your heart. There was a tie, so I just picked my favorite. Round two, which means you're going to come up with a synonym. It's your turn. Make up a word that matches the definition on your device. Type quick. This round goes fast. Construct, but still, you need to abide by it. Submit, submit. Woohoo! Let's check them out. Pick the word that makes the most sense with this definition. Them is <laughs> now I think our delicious new word and definition would pair well with a piping hot sentence craft a sentence using the word on your device Writing tip, using too many adjectives can be a terrible, foolish, confusing, pretentious mistake. Let us behold the sentences. Groovy, time to vote. And the victorious sentence is... Look at this beauty! I love you for making this! But now, let's see who got the most points. See you again very soon.
I just found a new word and it's soft and flat. The game that you are playing, well, it passes as much. Ah, fresh lab rats! Sign in with the room code and don't forget to take a picture or draw yourself for our records. Models. Thanks for volunteering for this experiment, and by volunteering I mean wandering in. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the genetic magic that makes each and every human a truly unique individual. But that was hard, so we found a shortcut. We theorize every friend group has some version of the smart one, the popular one, the troubled loner who I can change. You get the idea. And these roles make it a lot easier to figure people out with science. You guys are going to match your fellow test subjects to the roles that fit them best. My lovely assistant will put all the data into the tubes, and at the end, we'll crunch the numbers and tell each of you who you really are. Now you've all been de-loused, right? Oh well, let's do this. Vote for a category to get us started. Ideally, something everyone knows a little bit about. Alice in Wonderland character are you? So, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, we'll check out the results. Let's see those votes. Take out the outliers. There's our winner. Yippee! 
I like to keep my guinea pigs motivated, so I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whatever your answers match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they keep your pelt shiny. Everything couldn't be more chill. If I'm counting right, that's a tie. Time for another test to see who gets this roll. Write your answer on your device. Your fellow lab rats will decide whether you get the roll. Even if you're not sure you want the roll, I'm handing out science pellets to the winner, so do your best. It's an experiment, man. You think the frog always wants to get dissected? There it is. Vote on your devices now. The results are in. Your achievement in this test definitely deserves some science pellets. Don't spend them all in one place. Subjects who already have a roll don't need another one, so let's lose these votes. Don't make this one mad. You had at least one person pulling for you, and that's good enough for me. Here's who's who, and here's everyone's science pellets. Don't forget, you get those tasty pellets when your answers match the group, or you earn a role in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to be the winning test subject. Give me another category. Which dog breed are you? Let the truth telling begin. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. who you are. Yippee! Who's a good boy? mode nice use of the 99 percent Looks like your peers weren't feeling any of these roles for you. I've got a...
plan B role that might speak to you. Everyone vote on which role fits our neglected subject the best. That's science, baby. And this role comes with some science pellets. All right, we've got our lineup. Oh, and you? You are nailing this. You know more about your friends than you probably should. Okay, you've each got some roles under your belt. Let's see what the data tells us. Based on your roles, you're total opposites. If you look at the data a certain way, that is. Science demands an experiment to see which of you is better for science. What's a nonverbal way to indicate that you're finished having a conversation with someone? I want both of you to write an answer that really plays up the characteristic above you. The rest of you will decide who wins. Okay, there's the data. Vote on your devices now. Not super useful. Honestly, the paperwork will be a lot easier if we just go with you. Your roles tell me that you're polar opposites. From a very specific point of view, anyway. We're not leaving here until we find out which of you is better at being you. You're at a trade convention and can write anything you want on your name tag. What do you write? Enter your answer on your device. devices now. That settles that. All right, pick your final category. would most likely be the reason you hypothetically crapped your pants. Okay, make those matches. What everyone picked. Thank <laughs> you. 
last one picked for a role, huh? We've all been there. I've got a backup role that might fit you better. Everyone vote on which role this controversial subject deserves. You got something. Here's where we landed. One last thing before we close the book on this experiment. Let's see if there are any more interesting patterns in those roles. You, based on your roles, you're this, and you're also this. That makes no sense to our algorithm. We're going to find out which quality fits you better. There's an open casting call for a horror sex comedy that's shooting in your area. What part do you audition for? Answer this prompt on your device. Then the other subjects will vote on your response. Vote on your devices now. Yeah, I'd call that pretty conclusive. You two. Your roles tell me you've got something in common. Which is cute and all, but there can be only one. You're on Jeopardy. What interesting fact about yourself do you share with Alex? Answer the prompt on your devices, and we'll settle this once and for all. on your devices now. I love results. That was the final piece of the puzzle. Get ready for your final roles, as determined by everything your fellow subjects said about you. And my favorite little lab rat with the most total science pellets is...
This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your room isn't ready yet, so let's play a game of life and death. Only one of you will survive. I know that's a lot of pressure, but just try to have fun. Alright, first question. What was the Oxford English Dictionary Word of the Year in 2014? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> Time's almost up. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, I want to show you something. Welcome to room 105. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Get your typing fingers ready because I'm starting right now. Dear local action news team, do you take requests? I would like to see more uplifting feature stories that share positive images and less segments about the crimes that I have committed. Viewers are tired of all the sad stories I am directly responsible for. Time's up! Okay, now let me just look back at my beautiful words as... And here's how you did! I am especially disappointed with one of you. What is this garbage? I've seen Reddit threads that make more sense than this. <laughs> Surprise! You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. What was Saturn the god of? <laughs> Time's running out. Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, come with me. Salutations! Welcome back to the killing room. Oh, you're going to get a gift. Please accept these gifts before the cops bag them as evidence. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Don't shake them or you'll wake them. Ah, my grandpappy Jack's glasses. They say they let him see things no mortal mind can comprehend. He succumbed to supernatural madness. So, that's not exactly good news for you, huh? Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Who solved the secret of the old clock? Oh. 
Almost out of time. Who picked this? Time for consequences. This one should be easy. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. The player who follows the fewest rules correctly dies. And it's already begun. The rules are on your device now. Rules, am I right? Almost out of rules time! If you ask me, you have no one to blame but yourself. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! Who is the main antagonist of the Nutcracker? <laughs> Time's almost stop! This. It's time. Ah, a money pile. I guess I should buy a wallet at some point. Go ahead and take as much money as you want. But, take the most money or the least money, and you'll be sorry. Have fun out there! I'm excited to see what everybody took. The most and least greedy really messed up. Did I forget to mention that when my grandpappy died wearing his creepy glasses, every living person nearby came down with the same supernatural madness? Did did I forget to mention that? Oopsie! Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Fellowship members in Fellowship of the Ring. Tap each answer that fits the category, and then let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're on your way to escaping, but you're not alone in here. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up! Next question! Monsters mentioned in the song, The Monster Mash. one-term U.S. Presidents. Uh-oh! Here comes trouble! 
Are you afraid of the dark? Things from the song, my favorite things. Time is almost up. I'm going too easy on you. Here comes the next question. Oreo cookies. Movies about time travel. Darkness approaches. Tony Award winners for Best Musical. Time is almost up. Yikes, there's a g -g -g ghost right behind you. Lights out for you. Metric system units of measurement. Tables have turned. Leap years. Good question. I see you're checking in with our sequel package. The rooms are all the same, and so is everything else, I guess. It's still fun, though. First question. Who is the youngest darling in Peter Pan? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. Follow me. Housekeeping! We're at room 105. It's the mind meld. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Write your answers now. Answer time is coming to an end. Now, let's see if there are any matches. Idiots, I would have guessed that one. Let's try another one. And now a question about the most heinous instrument of torture. How many strings does a traditional ukulele have? <laughs> Running out. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. Welcome back to the killing room. 
It's the pegs game. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. Pick a spot or I'll pick it for you. Yay! Physics! They don't call death zones for nothing. Let's keep moving. In the poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, what does Santa say first? <laughs> Almost out of time. Who picked? This. The rest of you who are still alive, time for consequences. Ugh, this one is heavy. Everyone pick an elevator door. If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. Talk amongst yourselves. You all seem trustworthy. <laughs> Stop holding up the elevators. Pick. Let's see where you all landed. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Which of the following words was accidentally included in Webster's Dictionary for years, despite it not being a real word? <laughs> Time's on the stop! Who picked... this? It's time. It's time to bring out the chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink. Mm. Now let's see what you drink. Your loss. The poison was dark cherry flavored. Let's try another one. In business, what's the Peter Principle? Running out. Uh, oh. Who picked this? I want to show you something. 
Ah, yes. Tattoos. Create a new tattoo on my back by drawing on your device. Ow. My back. Ooh. Right there. Oh. I kind of feel dangerous now. I mean, more dangerous. Now vote for your favorite tat. The artist with the fewest votes will die. <laughs> What did we decide? Well, at least tattoos aren't permanent. What? They are? I think it's pretty clear what I have to do now. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. made it so far, but can you escape? Here's your first category. Quadrilaterals. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. Cruciferous vegetables. Time is almost up. The things are catching up. Black Mirror episodes. words. Don't look behind you. Here comes the darkness. One of the seven chakras. Time is almost up. Getting pretty close to the exit. Movies based on comic books. So fast, if you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You have to get all the right answers to escape. The darkness approaches. Major greenhouse gases. Time is almost up.
can't keep driving, it don't feel right I take the exit, just looking for a place to stay There's only moonlight, the sky is black I'm really lost, but I can't turn back What's that ahead? A hotel with a vacancy I'm glad you're staying another night. Our hotel rewards loyalty, but punishes getting trivia questions wrong. First question. How many toes does a pig have on each? Use your device to answer the question. Almost in the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to the killing room. Ah, the old skewers trick. Pick a space in this box to hide yourself. When this was used in magic shows, there were safeguards inside to prevent injury. But don't worry, I took those out. Now I'm gonna need some volunteers. Volunteers get one sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. I wonder if this is how Chris Angel feels at Mind Freak! Let's keep moving. Where does the Pixar movie Ratatouille take place? <laughs> Who picked this? Only a ghost got it wrong. Way too easy. Let's try another one. Look, everything is fine at the hotel, and I don't want any follow-up questions about why I know this, but... According to WebMD, approximately how big are bedbugs? One of you is still alive. Follow me. Welcome to room 227. This one lets you protect yourself with the password. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. If anyone figures out the password before time runs out, I will reward you all. This is a team effort, so share clues out loud with each other. Almost up. A 
I thought everyone was good at hacking passwords these days, but I guess I was wrong. Let's keep moving. According to professional standards, what's the minimum depth for a golf hole? Time's running out. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Time for consequences. Let's play a dice game. It's real simple. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. Roll them! The player with the highest total dies. Everyone's luck runs out eventually. We're here. The final round is close. Next question. John James Audubon was well known for drawing and painting what? <laughs> Who picked this? It's time. This is the one with the big creepy mirror. The ghost of my aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, aunt Mildred is going to write a different word, but so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage aunt Mildred's. Let the drawing begin. Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Enter the right word now or you die. Oh. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Aww, you got it. This is my second most disappointing experience with a mirror. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive. But can you escape? Here's your first category. Animals with more than two eyes. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. Wrestlers from Netflix's Glow. Time is almost up. Question. Eight most common English letters. Q 
Golden Hormones. Kind of. Don't fall behind. It's only darkness. Kama Sutra chapters. There's a ghost right there! Human body systems! Time is almost up! Mm, you stole some yummy life force! Volcanoes!